my name is Samantha and I'm the meerkat keeper here at the Los Angeles Zoo. The male meerkats arrived a few months ago um, and we put them into the exhibit so they could get the lay of the land. Um, and then once the females arrived and they finished their quarantine process, we decided that that would be the best place to introduce them. It's a little bit more of a neutral spot so that um, there's no territoriality that could cause a fight. You know, genetically speaking, these meerkats were destined for each other, but whether or not they actually like each other, it's, it's a big question mark. And so until you get them in the same room together, we're, we're, you're never really sure. Um, so we uh, brought the males up to the quarantine. We, we crated them all up into their individual crates. Frankie, who we saw earlier, he's the littlest. So we did something called the howdy process with the meerkats. That's a pretty common way to introduce any animal at the zoo. Um, we try to gauge how well the animals uh, behave with each other um, through some kind of barrier. Um, we cordoned off the one side for the, for the females and one side for the males. Um, we put a piece of fine mesh in between them so that they could smell each other, see each other, hear each other, um, so we could get a better sense of how their behaviors were before we actually put them together. Just like the name says, they're saying how do you do each other. Um, and if we see any kind of negative behavior, we can extend that process out to try to see if that um, aggression or that behavior will go away. Or if we see nothing, then it'll give us a better sense of how the actual introduction will, will go. Again, we try to set up everything um, so that it will be successful. So generally, male groups want to go with female groups. This is a perfect example of how even in new situations they're just, they're not nervous at all. They're more curious and investigatory than anything else. They just want to know what's going on. Um, so by bringing in the all-male and the all-female group, there was less likely of a chance of having any kind of issues with the introduction. And from the beginning, they were pretty much um, sniffing each other and sitting at that mesh and checking each other out, but there was really no aggression at all. The males were already bonded and the females are bonded. Then it was just more so about integrating them as a group together. You don't want to do anything that's going to add extra stress. So if they're showing interest in seeing each other with no signs of aggression, you want to move forward so you don't add frustration, which could lead to unnecessary fighting. They kind of let us know what the next step is in a sense. down they went ahead and, and actually met each other physically and there were absolutely no problems at all um, just as we expected so it was a good it was a good outcome and after that we gave them another day to kind of hang out together get to know each other a little bit better and then we created them all back up individually we didn't want to just pile them up into one crate we wanted them to kind of get to know each other for the first uh, experience on their new exhibit as individuals coming together um, and not have anybody have the upper hand, especially some of the males that have already been on the exhibit. So we have scattered their food all around the exhibit uh, and released them all into the exhibit at the exact same moment make sure that they you know, all had access to food, that there would be no fighting over the food since meerkats don't share very well. Um, so we definitely try to, um, again, set them up for success and give them every option um, available to them so that there's, no, there's nothing to fight over. Um, but again, you never really know what your outcome is gonna be until you get there. They, they seem to like each other a lot. So, um, and their hierarchies apparently are very stable because there's been no challenging amongst the males, no challenging amongst the females, and um, and yeah. So now, now the wait is on for baby meerkats, and hopefully we'll get some in, in the next few months. Fingers crossed. As a keeper, it's it's always wonderful getting to see your animals have, you know. A great home where they feel safe they get you know tons of food <laughs> they get you know really great vet care they get um, lots of enrichment they have just a wonderful life and it's very fulfilling for me to be able to to be the person that provides that stuff for them
meerkats are ambassadors for their species, so it's a really important thing to um, have uh, animals that are charismatic like that, that, that bring people into the zoo, because they are helping the zoo accomplish other missions with conservation. So when you come to visit the Los Angeles Zoo, your ticket pays for those conservation efforts. When you come to see the meerkats, you're also helping to support those other programs for animals that are endangered, like the California condor, uh, snow leopard, etc. So, um, yeah, so it's really important to have those species that people are excited about to come in and, 